Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today we are going to do some stitched flowers. Now if you would have watched a previous video on doing these gear flowers, I got to thinking, well, what if people don't have gear dies or gears or what else could we use? So I happen to have some dies that I used and they, they are a Sizzix die. Sorry, I don't know what set they're out of, but there was about mm, 10 flowers, different sizes in it. So I cut a whole bunch of them out. And I thought, well, why can't I do stitching in them? So this is what I came up with to do stitching within the flowers. And I absolutely love these. I think they turned out totally awesome. They're fairly quick, fairly easy, but I'm going to show you how to make a template for these. So I cut out a whole bunch of stuff with them. Like I, I cut out a whole bunch of things and then I cut just some white cardstock. Now I have these as templates now so I can use them forever and ever. I can just keep using them. This one here is done. I didn't have a white one so I just did it in a brown one. The white is much easier to see the holes. Much, much easier. And I use this. It is just a sewing needle in a cork. And over time the needle gets pushed in more and more and more. And soon I'll just make another one. I'll just use a different cork and a different sewing needle and make a new one. Like this because it leaves a nice small hole, which I like. I've got some here that are the colored paper, which I've already put my holes in. Oh, there's a template right there. You can tell because of the lines. And I'm going to do up all of these in the same fashion I did this. Now, for me, personally, I love this one. Love that one. And this one. These two are totally fine. like them, but those other three are my favorites. Now, let's talk about how to make your whole pattern which is really easy when you have um, a die like this here let me just grab one of the dies okay here's two of the dies from the set and it says five five eight six nine two Sizzix so hopefully you can find them but like I say, there was probably 10 different flowers, different sizes, etc. in that set. So it was a perfect set because it's got the solid in the middle. Now to make your pattern, I just line up. And I like to do it this way because I want it all to be even. So I'm just going to take that and just do my line and I'm going to do another line here. So I'm really going to do lines all the way around and make them as even to the petals as possible. And it works great when you have a flower die like this because it's so even. So now I've got that. Now I'm lucky enough to have this which has circle holes which makes it really, really easy. But 
I will also show you the other way. So if I put a hole in my, the middle, then I can just put my needle in here, that there, and I can just pick what circle I want to do, and I'm done. It, it's that easy with having this here, but I know a lot of people don't have this. But that's okay, we can still do it. Now I could take anything round. What do I have that's round? Let's see. I got this little thing. Now I could put that in the middle and I could draw a circle around it. To me, that wouldn't quite be big enough. I could use my glue bottle. That would be too big. Mm. How about my dauber? Oh yeah. See now that's going to be just the right size. So let's use that. I'm going to try to make it as even as I can in there. But just look around, see what you've got that might work. Okay. I got that as even as I can. Just go ahead and draw around it as careful as we can. And there we have our circle. Now all that we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to poke a hole where the circle intertwines with our straight lines. And that's going to be our first spot. You want to try to make your holes as evenly spaced as you can. So now we got that. So there's It's easier to see without all the lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's see how many lines or how many dots do I want inside. Now this one here, I've got like three in between those. So we could do that with this one. So I'm going to go around and I'm gonna put the dot halfway between that one and that one and I like to do it in steps now I've made some other flower patterns and stuff this way and for the most part it works take your time don't rush because once you get this done it's going to be done then you use this as a template to do all your other flowers. This paper that I used has kind of a embossed lines on it. That's why the lines didn't show up everywhere. Okay, so now I've got that. Now I could leave it at that. That, that would work. But now I'm going to go and I'm going to put a hole in between these two and in between the next two. Hopefully you can see those holes. And I'm going to go all the way around and do that. Let me know what you think of these flowers. I really like how they turned out. They have great possibilities. And once you get this technique down of stitching this away, you can use it in so many ways. I've made tags, cut a hole in it, and then I put a picture behind it after I've done the stitching. So it kind of made like a little stitched frame, which looked very cool. And you can just, you can use this technique in so many ways. 
So there we are, we've gone all the way around. Now you can see this is the one I made with my little plastic thing. This is the one we just made. Now you can't really tell the difference. They look the same. Now how do you use this? Easy, easy, easy. Find one of the other die cuts and we are going to put this on top. We are going to line it up. Some of these, like the the petals, are, are a little bit different. So sometimes you might have to turn it to get it exactly right. But that's just going to go on top of there. Put it down. And now I'm not going to go in the middle one. I'm not going to do that one. I'm just doing around this one and I'm just going to poke down each hole that I've made all the way around trying not to move the template on top of the and make sure that I get them all I'll cut that one you can tell the holes that you've been in because your needle just slips through really easy. Round and round we go. Okay, so we're done. So now we're going to save this because we can use it over and over. And there is, hopefully you can see the holes. This will be the back. And then the front. And then stitched. Stitch this the exact same way. Um, after I was stitching, it was just the perfect size for some of these little blinging things that I've got. So that worked out really, really good. But I could pick out my bling before. I wouldn't put it on because your thread might get tangled on it. And, but you could definitely hold it there and decide, okay, um, just let me find a piece of string here for a second. So I could have my bling sitting on there and I could say, oh, okay, I want it right there. You know, and then start doing my stitching. Same with this one here. I was lucky enough that that yellow one fit perfectly in there. This one here, I did the center different. Now, I made the template for that too. Like these ones here are just circles and that one there is just a circle. This one here you can see all the lines that I made and then I just went here. I put a little dot at each of the lines, relatively the close, the same distance away from the center hole. And I just eyeballed that. And then out here, I put my first hole where my line was. And then I put two holes in between each one. And that gives you this effect. And this one here was done basically the same way. But I had a different one of these, but I lost it. I don't know. It's probably under my desk or something. I don't know. So I had to make a new one. And the new one turned out a little bit different. But basically, they're the same way, but they look totally different. Different colors, different background. This one I did like an outline. This one I didn't. So it's the possibilities are endless. And this one here, hopefully it turned out, looks okay on camera. But really, I did the same effect, but because these little things are so small, I could have drawn another line, but I just eyeballed it and put five holes, one in the tip, two down the side, 
and then one is right on the line which gives me that type of design so the way you displace your holes is going to totally change the look of the actual flower I tend to like these ones with just the circle in the middle but all of them are really really nice and I plan to do all the different ones as well um, this one here is going to be just a center like what these are it's harder to see on a darker a darker um, paper but yeah it's just going to be the center so I'll have this flower just with one uh, one of these round centers but as I say I've got the templates now so now I can just mix and match the templates um, do whichever flower design I want this is the same flower design the same die cut but I've got one that's going to do the edges one that's just going to do the middle depending on what I want and I think the big one I'm going to make one that goes out as well but just a fun easy project that turns out great so if you've got any kind of die cuts doesn't have to be the same ones that I had but different shapes different sizes good way to use up bits of threads good way to use up bits of paper because you don't need much paper to cut these out I wouldn't use paper I would only use a cardstock because paper is too easy to pull your thread and rip your holes that's what the back looks like I just tape the thread ends down because this will get glued down to something now I could just glue another piece on the back but chances are I'm going to glue these right down to something when I use them so therefore I don't really need a back on them so the tape is good and that's all going to get hidden but I hope you will try making these templates they are actually quite easy once you do one it, it's done as long as you don't lose them like I did have fun making some of these I'm going to do up all of these and I'll show them once they're done I'll show them in a what's up video down the road have fun check out the links below like subscribe share all that fun stuff and we'll see you again soon bye for now